Her Majesty the Queen and the Prime Minister Boris Johnson have led the many tributes to Captain Sir Tom Moore, who's died at the age of 100. He was admitted to hospital for pneumonia in January and then again a few days ago, as his family confirmed he tested positive for coronavirus. Sir Tom was a veteran of the Second World War who raised almost £39 million for NHS charities during the first lockdown last year. And that remarkable achievement led to nationwide fame and earned him the respect and admiration of millions. Sir Tom said the pinnacle of the past year for him was being knighted by the Queen at Windsor last summer. As our correspondent David Silito reports now. He's a 99-year-old war vet. He's a one-man fundraising machine. Captain Sir Tom Moore. The word inspirational is rather an understatement. That's the way I think I've always looked to see. Tomorrow will be a good day. What began as a little family challenge to do a hundred laps of his garden became a fundraising juggernaut. On New Year's Eve, the face of 2020 was Captain Tom. He was born in Keithley in 1920 and had served in Burma during the war. After that, he'd run a business. The closest he'd ever come to fame this Christmas on. was an appearance on Blankety Blank. Tom, have you got uh, family or anybody you'd rather not be watching this? <laughs> yes, I've got two girls. Yes. Coming up 16, coming up 14. But everything changed when his family set up a fundraising page for Captain Tom. The hope was to raise £1,000 for NHS charities to support the nurses and doctors during the pandemic. But just over a week later, the total had passed a million pounds. And by the time he celebrated his 100th birthday, the total had topped 30 million. Through the wind. He also had a number one single. Through the rain. Captain Tom had become known the world over. He received 140,000 birthday cards. The regimental model. He was made an honorary colonel. He received a knighthood. And the RAF staged a birthday fly past. I'm absolutely delighted with all the people like you who have come to wish me a many happy birthday. It's been an extraordinary 10 months. The final entry on his wish list was an end-of-year trip to Barbados. And then, earlier this week, it was announced that he had pneumonia and had tested positive for the coronavirus. Leading the tributes today, a statement from Buckingham Palace. The Queen said her thoughts and those of the royal family are with them, recognising the inspiration he provided for the whole nation and others across the world. In Downing Street, the Union flags were at half-mast. Captain Sir Tom Moore was a hero in the truest sense of the word. In the dark days of the Second World War, he fought for freedom, and in the face of this country's deepest post-war crisis, he united us all. Captain Tom described it as a fairy tale, but during some dark months, it was his good cheer that became a little source of joy for millions. Never ever anticipate ever in my life anything like this. It really is amazing. And I must say to everyone, thank you very much to everyone, wherever you are. Today's tributes to Captain Sir Tom Moore, the champion fundraiser and lockdown hero who died at the age of 100. And with me to reflect on a very long and fruitful life uh, and indeed a remarkable last year of his life uh, in Sir Tom's case is Mark Easton, our home editor. And I'm just thinking, Mark, this really is uh, a kind of combination of factors, isn't it? the right man at the right time for what people needed. Absolutely. I think Britain absolutely needed Captain Tom when the, the pandemic was making us question everything. He was, he was a representative of the greatest generation, the, the men and women shaped by wartime sacrifice, who understood what it mean, meant by duty and resilience and, and humility, walking up and down his garden, up and down, uh, uncomplainingly doing his, his bit. And, and I think Captain Tom, you know, in his, in his, his, his medal and his regimental blazer. He linked us back to, to 
to something that many in Britain see almost as this country's finest hour, the Second World War. And he, he won the affection, I think, of, of the whole nation, old and young, as, as lockdown required us to, to furlough our freedoms. This old soldier was a sort of epitomising how we'd like to see ourselves in a, in, a, in a crisis, because as well as the indomitable spirit, there was always a a twinkle in his eye, a joke and a, and a laugh. And when we needed it most, as the virus raged and we struggled to hold it together, Captain Tom kept on walking, up and down, up and down. Mark, many thanks. Mark Easton there uh, with his thoughts on Captain Sir Tom's life and contribution.